Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about current source inverter. Okay. So current source inverter is the inverter where the input current is constant. Okay. The input current is a constant. So this is the input current I n I in. Okay. The input current is constant. And till now, whatever we discussed, those were the voltage source inverters, right? Means the input voltage was was constant. It was a VDC. Now here the input current is constant. That is a I in. Okay. Now here this dotted one it indicates the current source. The current source generally it is constructed with the help of uh, putting a inductor in series with a voltage. Okay, DC voltage, right? So as one of the inductor is the element which opposes the sudden change in the current, right? So due to this inductor value and generally the value of the inductor will be very high, okay? And due to this inductor value, this I in will remain same, okay? So now here let us discuss the circuit operation. The load it may be a resistive load or consider it is a capacitive load also, right? They have asked the questions in some of the computer examinations for capacitive load. What is the nature of the load voltage? Okay, that we are going to discuss. Right, so I in is a constant current. I in is a constant current. Right, it is having a magnitude of capital I. Okay, so next here when S one S two are in the on state, when S one and S two are in a on state. So suppose the load is a resistive. For example, suppose the load is a resistive, then voltage across the load, current flowing through the load, those will be in phase. Okay, so now means the waveform for the VL and IL, it will be in phase. Okay, suppose the R resistive load. Is having a magnitude of R is equal to one ohm. Okay, then it will be like VL and IL will be having the same waveform. Okay, next. Now, so during zero to T by two, during zero to T by two, S one S two will be in the on state, right? So when S one and S two will be in the on state, current will be flowing from like yes, it is a source S one load S two and again back to the source, right? So in this way, the current will be flowing. Okay. But this current is constant, right? So the constant current will be flowing through S1 load S2 and again back to the Vs. Are you getting the point? Okay. So here current flowing through the load, it will be constant current, right? So and the current direction is in the downward direction. Okay. So that's why the current will be positive. So here we are having the I L, right? Magnitude I L value. It is a positive, and here it is a constant current. That is a capital I. Okay. Next, this is this will continue till T by two. What is the Vl? It will be in phase with current, right? Next, after T by two, what will happen? Yes, at T by two, we are going to turn off the switches S one and S two, and we are going to turn on switches S three and S four. Okay, so when S three and S four will be turned on, right? S three S four turns on. Then what will happen? Current will flow from yes, it is a S three load S four, and again back to the source, right? S three load S Four and again back to the supply. Are you getting the point? So in this branch, if you check, yes, definitely I in is constant, but the direction of the current is in the upward direction. So I L will be negative. Okay. So here I L will be negative, right? It is having the magnitude. It is a same as that of the current source, right? It is I in, but it is a minus I, right? It will be a minus I. This will continue till T. After T, again S one S two will turn on. So again the same process goes on repeating. Is this clear? Okay. So here point to be noted. I in is a constant current, right? That is the input supply current is a constant, but load current is a yes, it is a square wave. Load current it will be a square wave. Okay? They may ask the question: the nature of voltage across the load or the current flowing through the load in the current source inverter. Yes, be careful. It is a square wave. Okay? Next, now we are going to discuss. Suppose the load is a capacitor. Suppose the load is a capacitor. Then how will the waveform for the V? L that we are going to discuss. So, for example, suppose the load is capacitive. If the load is capacitive, right? Then what will happen? So, suppose here we are having the capacitive load that is the R and C. Let us consider, or you can consider very small value of the R is there. Okay. So, most of the capacity will be there. Okay. So, R C. This voltage is V L and current is I L. Okay. So, first of all, at for the very first cycle, for very first cycle. At T is equal to zero. At T is equal to zero. Yes, we are going to turn on switches S1 and S2. Okay. So S1 S2 turns on. Then what will happen? Yes, current will flow from 
supply yes that is a source s1 load this should be the right parallel plate capacitor source s1 load s2 and again back to the source right so in this way the current will be flowing okay so here capacitor goes on charging capacitor goes on charging for very first cycle it will start from zero for very first cycle it will start from zero but for continuous cycle it will be like this okay for continuous cycle it will be starting from negative are you getting the point okay so capacitor goes on charging for very first cycle okay but again when s1 is stored in the on state when s1 and s2 are in the on state right at that time if you check uh, what is the v in and vl yes the positive of the v in will be connected to the plus vl negative of the v in will be connected to the minus vl so, so can we write it as vl is same as that of the v in or v in is same as that of the vl yes okay so whatever the pulse will be having for v in the same will appear for the what what are the pulse will be having for vl the same will appear for the v in also okay so it is a for continuous cycle it is from negative to the positive so it is v in is negative to the positive okay next there so capacitor goes on charging right next at t by 2 at t is equal to t by 2 we are going to turn off switches s1 and s2 and we are going to turn on the switches s3 and s4 right so here s3 s4 are turned on so what will happen current will be flowing from source s3 load s4 and again back to the source right so here current is flowing like this so what will happen the capacitor starts discharging right because capacitor will discharge now okay and the capacitor is discharging through the same loop right capacitor will discharge through the same loop right right so here when if you check so from t by 2 to capital t yes here capacitor is discharging capacitor is discharging okay and again after that it will charge to the reverse polarity right it will charge to the reverse polarity reverse polarity means the polarity will be plus here and minus here okay so again if you check when s3 s4 will be the on state right so when s3 and s4 are in the on state right when s3 s4 are in the on state at that time if you check yes the v in and vl relation yes the positive plate of the v in positive terminal of the v in will be connected to the minus negative of the vl and negative of the v in will be connected to the positive of the vl right so it is like a vl is equal to minus v in or v in is equal to minus vl okay v in is equal to minus vl okay so here if you check yes here capacitor voltage is having this shape okay but v in is minus vl right so it is a opposite to that of this so that's why the wave shape will be like this are you getting the point okay so again after that capacitor charges <coughs> with the opposite polarity for the next cycle again the capacitor will discharge and the same goes on repeating okay so point to be noted if the load is resistive then we will be getting the square wave for load voltage if the load is capacitive we will be getting the triangular wave for the load voltage right for the load voltage is this clear okay they have asked the questions like the voltage across the capacitor in the current source inverter okay for capacitive load is yes it is a triangular view okay or they may they may give the wave shapes like this one this one out of that we need to understand okay so this is about the current source inverter right next we are going to discuss the difference between vs and vsi and csi current source inverter and voltage source inverter what is the difference okay so if you check in a vsi in a vsi input voltage is constant input voltage is a constant input voltage is a constant it is in vsi okay input voltage is a constant is a constant right next whereas in csi in csi input current is constant input current is constant okay input current is constant okay next if you check in vsi if the misfiring if the misfiring of the switching devices may cause the short circuit okay in the vsi if you check if one of the switch is misfired okay means suppose we are having just like this circuit okay suppose this inductor is not present okay and suppose s1 and s2 are in the on state okay 
Suppose this inductor is not present, then it will be like a voltage source inverter, okay? And suppose or S3 and S4 are in the on state. Suppose inductor is not present, S3, S4 are in the on state, okay? And if all of a sudden, if all of a sudden, suppose switch S1 is also turned on, then it will cause direct short circuit across the source, right? So it may cause the damage to the source, but it is in the case of the, why the source will be damaged because across the source the short circuit direct short circuit has happened and due to that all of a sudden very high current will flow because high voltage they are by the very lesser resistance so due to that yes the high current will flow through the source and that high current will damage the source permanently okay this will this is possible in the case of vsi but in the case of csi if you check even though the s1 is turned on right suppose s3 s4 are in the on state and even though S1 is misfired, but due to this inductor, right, whether this inductor will allow the sudden change in the current from very less value to the very high value, not possible, right. So, due to this inductor, the permanent damage of the source, right, can be avoided, can be avoided, okay. So, this is the second difference between the VSI, VSI and CSI, okay. Next, in the CSI to obtain the constant current, a larger reactor is required in series with the voltage source, okay. So, if you check in a current source inverter, in series with the voltage voltage source we require a very high value of the inductor that is nothing but the reactor okay that is the actually special requirement for the current source inverter okay so this is about the current source inverter and the chapter inverter okay we have ended up, ended up here with the chapter inverter in the next video we are going to start the chapter dc to dc converter or it is also known as the choppers thank you